see this concept yes. streams you know uh, see what i have seen that programmers are little afraid about this concept so let's understand this right so stream does only one thing first you know the purpose of stream you know just resolves or it solves just one one purpose or it just solves you know only one thing right which is you know with the help of streams you can process so we have learned about collections array array list link list vector stack hash set linked hash set tree set all that we have learned right now sometimes we want to work right we want to work on that collections of objects right so stream does that only you know it helps us process or it helps us do something on the collection of object and give us you know or provide us a desired output you know the output that we are looking for it it just helps us with that right so the objective of streams is just this part you know it helps us work on the collection of object i told you collection is the you know collection gives us the architecture to provide you know to store manipulate group of objects so collection just gives us object now stream comes and says that with the help of streams you can work on those objects right streams has certain methods you know streams has got two kinds of method one is intermediary intermediate kinds of method which which are, which are called in between and one is called as terminal method which are always called in the end right and why are those methods called because we want to work on the collection of objects array list linked list vector stack all that we have got now we want to perform something on that right that is the only thing that streams are used for okay it has some two kinds of method intermediary which are called in the in between part and terminal which are called in the end right now what are those methods see the first popular method is called as map right let me show you with the help of example and then we'll understand this right so i'm creating a class called streams1 streams example one let's say or streams usage one whatever name you want to give you can give right so you know the other day we have learned that this is how you can create a array list object right i can add remove update using set use iterator enumeration basic for loop advanced for loop to traverse that we have already learned and if i have got some array then i can you know get the name you know names you know from the arrays using arrays dot as list i can give some names here for example i have got you know streams as a first name i have got collections of object as a second name and i have got you know intermediate function as a third thing third string in the array right if i traverse it with the help of iterator i can do that right that we have already learned that is that you know if this is a list i can call iterator and i can use itr has next and i can print all the elements of the list that we have just now got you know this we have already learned from this array list from this list you know array which we converted into list we traversed through all that but this we have already seen streams does not come into picture now now i will bring streams into picture you know i'm going to comment this part out because traversal part we have seen extensively okay now let's say i want only those only that object you know which starts with s right give me that object from above list that starts with s that kind of thing we can do with the help of streams right 
so i'll say you know you know word starting with s letter s right so this is my list of strings and i can only work on this right first we convert this to a stream then comes the intermediary function which is called as map right to map we will say uh so map basically you know will return you a stream you know applying a particular function so you know i will i will come to this i will use filter for that right let's first talk about filter function then you know to get to the letter word with starting with s so here i will simply say using lambda that i will give you a string you just tell me you know a string starting with capital letter s this is filter another intermediary function right and then you can return me as a list only collect is a terminal function that comes in the end always and every time right this converted into a list and it gives me back okay now i can iterate i have just one thing so i will just give this to iterator and it will give me only that object from the above array list that starts with letter s streams right if i i have you know streams i can have have one more which let's say you know inter uh, streams function streams functions right let's say i have this also in the in the same array list you know okay this will now give me two output so this i filtered with the help of intermediary function intermediate function called filter now what does filter function do see in lambda i told you lambda gives you the inline implementation of a functional interface right so and there is a popular functional interface called predicate right so this filter function basically you know this filter function basically helps you select the element right helps you select that object or that element like stream or stream function right by putting a condition like this you know as per the argument passed this will always gives us you know as per the argument passed i will tell you you know there is a particular api which is introduced in java with the name of predicate which has one get function only one function right predicate gives you the output here this is also like a predicate it is giving me a output a word which is starting with s a element or a object which is starting with s right so this is like you give a condition inside filter and it gives you the output by converting into a stream stream right so we learned in the very beginning that stream works on the collection of object and give us the desired output so what did we do we have the list available with us we converted that to stream we call one intermediary function filter we said we will give you a string you just tell us a string that starts with s so it gives us stream and stream function and convert you know back to string so using collect you can return collectors dot list and that will that that ways a list will be given to us and i can use iterator enumeration advanced for loop basic for loop anything to traverse right this is just one example of giving this you know condition as part of a filter function to give to get the desired output now always remember another thing about stream which is it never modifies the original collection right it it never modifies the original collection 
it has just helped us to work on the collection and get a desired output right the original collection was this if i run the iterator all over again on the original collection or if i use a basic for loop right it will still be the same this is the original collection or list right nothing has happened to the original collection i can give one empty line in between so that we can segregate the output right nothing happens to the original collection we just created a stream because we wanted to work on this collection of object to get a desired output which is give me a particular object that starts with letter s where filter is the intermediate function okay so streams only helps us work on collection and streams never modify the original collection this original collection it never touches that right let me give you one more example then you can write this down so the another no, hello yes. yukesh <laughs> yeah so, yeah, so in, in the, the filter function can we pass the argument, argument uh, without, without uh, uh, lambda expressions you can i will give you that example also basically some function has to be given we can write a separate function and pass it also i will give you that example also okay okay, okay. i'll just give you another example on streams streams usage you know two wherein we will use map intermediate function so again we will not touch the existing collections so if i have this time a list of integer i created in the previous example right i did not use it i'll just cut this and i'll paste it here you know this is the array list of integer now in this array list i can add integers like 1 11 123 right and it is a array list so insertion order will be maintained you will get the data in the same order in which it is originally added right and duplicates are allowed but collection is there right i can use iterator and i can print all these integers right i can use this iterator i can copy this i can paste it here i can mention iterator will work only on integer right this is my list and it will give me all the elements that i just now added so we have seen this example quite a number of times right it gave me all the numbers in the same order in which it is originally added but now what i want to do now i want to create a stream because i want to create let's say a square root of these numbers these objects how shall i multiply 1 into 1 123 into 123 101 into 101 98 into 98 you know how shall we do that how will we make the square of these values so again i thought we can create a stream out of this right but that will you know i want a list back let's say list of integer and i created a object called squared values squared values of the above list so first i will do i will do and convert this to a stream then i will call a intermediary function called map i will say i will give you a some number you just multiply the same number right and give me the collections back right it will give me the collections back and rather than printing the original array list which i have not touched i will just print the squared values right with the help of map function we got 1 into 1 this is 123 into 123 101 into 101 and 98 into 98 you can check that or if i can write simple 2 here simple 3 here simple 4 here so that we can understand you know quickly we can verify 1 4 9 16 right so map will also return you a stream like filter but you know we again applied the you know function to the elements or objects to the stream 
we applied this function to the object filter was just returning me a letter a object that starts with s but now i played on each object using map right i worked on each object using map right so these are intermediary functions like map or filter where we work on the original or we just filter out our particular data right map filter there is a there is one more which is called as sorted which just gives you the data in the ascending order right so i have got the uh, you know streams usage 3 the third intermediary function right i can have list of strings right array list new array list or link list or vector or stack whatever we want to use we can use right in this i can add in this array list i can add something that says z i added z first duplicates can come null can come right x a you know c and b now i want to sort this data rather than using collections dot sort i want to sort this data right using streams i can do that also so i said list stream you know sorted array list i use this array list created first call the stream function then call another intermediary intermediary function called sorted now i want a collections back right it give it will give me a sorted data back i can read with the help of you know advanced for loop also that it has strings only so i put this on the left right hand side you know here you know this will print all the individual records in a sorted way a b c x z z z z it all worked because i call the intermediary function called sorted so filter just apply you know the predicate particular function to all the elements you know to filter out data map where we want to work on each and everything hash map linked hash map kind of right map will give us a stream after applying a function to each element filter as per the predicate passed as per the function passed and the third is sorted just to sort the stream right i'll just you know uh, if you want there are just two more uh, terminal functions i can talk about that then we will take multiple other examples right as of now you have just seen one terminal function which is collect right so i'll just say you know there are two more terminal function apart from collect you have something called as for each to print the output right i can call this only streams usage to where we use the map right i copied the same example in four just to show you the another terminal function so i have the array list map is squaring of the values right but rather than converting it into a list right rather than doing all this if i don't want a list back right if i just want to see the output if i don't want to write the iterator you know if i don't want all that so what i can do instead of collect i can call for each i can say some data will be given to you you just print that data for us right this will just print the data right this will just print us the data this is another terminal function which is always called in the end like collect 
we are iterating through each and every element of the stream only right uh, rather than converting it into a list and iter using iterator or advanced for loop i can use for each and just print the output right there is one last terminal function which is called reduce so i'm saying streams usage 5 right a reduce terminal function okay when you want to reduce the entire stream you know to a single value single output okay so here i'm just checking whether a number is a even number or a not so i can create a array list using arrays dot as list also so i'm simply saying list of integer list of integer arrays dot as list and i am giving the data for example i am saying 2 3 4 5 you know i gave this okay i have got 2 3 4 5 as part of a list now i want to print the even values so i can say int you know even values right so this is my list I can just work on the different objects in the collection and we would never touch the existing collection. So first stream, then filter. I want to get even values, 2 and 4. I said I will give you like this, you divide a number by 2, if a remainder comes 0, give me that. Right? Okay. Now. I want to get just one output right just so you know here I will call the reduce function right so I'm going to write a small logic to get just a single value back that zero a particular answer will be given you just add all the data in that same answer variable that's it okay so here first I assigned the answer variable a value called 0 this is the initial value and then whatever is the output 2 and 4 just add it right and print using reduce right when i run this i get 6 2 and 4 6 right so reduce is just used when we want the entire stream to give me one single value back i will take more examples of reduce also right but basically this is what streams are what have we learned that we never touch the existing collection but when we want to work on the collection to get a desired output we saw you know uh, three uh, three uh, terminal function and we saw three uh, you know intermediary function first we saw filter as a intermediary for intermediary a filter we will pass one argument a predicate argument you select the data and give us the output then map where we said we will give you a stream you apply the function squaring of the value give me the stream back third sorted you sort the data and give us the data back this is intermediary then we saw terminal collect give us the collection back then we saw uh, the for each you know forget about collection you just print us the entire output the last one is reduce you give us one value back entire stream just returning me one value back right you guys can write this you know after this i'll give you more examples yogesh can we write these examples, examples after, after lunch? lunch sure no problem let's connect post lunch and then you guys can write yeah. that yeah, yeah.
Yogesh, could you show the other coach? We'll take a picture. picture. Okay, this is first one. This is okay. second. Yeah. Second one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is Next. Third. This is third. Okay. Okay. This is fourth. And the last, the last one. one. This is the fifth one. Okay. Okay. Thank, Thank you, Yogesh.